Welcome back. We're talking with Len Sheff, author of uh, The Cow in the Parking Lot. Uh, th that, that graphic that just appeared uh, said that was something you wanted to talk about. Talk about it. Well, one of the first things that you have to do uh, when you want to deal with anger is to admit that you're angry. After, and then you can ask for your unmet demand, because if you're denying anger, you're not going to deal with it. I mean, that's just the reality. Uh, if, you know, there, there's a dog in the house and you pretend he's not in the house, he's got a crap on the floor. <laughs> so you, that, that's really the first step. And um, people admire people that admit their anger. I believe it was the movie Network News or the guy who was a television oh, guy. Oh, Network, mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Yeah, yeah. He, he didn't skew well, and they were firing him. Yeah. And uh, that became a, a great cult classic because here was a guy, in effect, coming out of the closet about being angry. Well, there's and, a bunch of guys like that on TV yeah. now on, on, you know, venting. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, and, but uh, some of them even on Fox. Uh, the, the Fox Cable Channel, not yes. to be confused with the Fox Entertainment Network, which we carry on this station. Right. Um, not, uh, notwithstanding, though, uh, it comes back to, to, to something that, that we've been sort of, you know, sometimes you, I think people watch the shows because in, in their angst, they're funny. Uh, they're entertaining. Ah. Well, first of all, one of the techniques for being angry acceptably is you convert anger into humor. And take yeah. us through that because well, that's... Well, Lenny good. Bruce and Mart Saul and all those people, well, they're hugely angry people, but they know how to make it funny. I, I saw Lenny Bruce in San Francisco and, uh, you know, he uh, said, you guys in the front row better be careful because I'm liable to want to take a leak on you. and. You know, how about that for hostility? But the other point I wanted to make is that anger, we, we have a lot of names for it, like irritation, annoyance. It's still anger. <laughs> and you know, we, I'm not really angry, I'm annoyed. Well, nonsense. Uh, and, you know, sarcasm. One of my first teachers uh, stunned me because I called some guy a jerk, and he said, you're angry at him. And he said, just because I called somebody a jerk, doesn't mean I'm angry at them. It's descriptive. <laughs> well, it, it may be true, but he's not meeting my demands. Yeah. And uh, that was, you know, one of the great insights uh, that led me on the way uh, is that there are a lot of clues. Uh, anytime you're sarcastic, you're angry. My, that's a good-looking tie. And what I'm thinking is, is, God, you must have gotten that at a barn sale. <laughs> uh, I, it's not true, but uh, that's, you know, sarcasm. Let me, we, we're rapidly running out of time. Your, your seminars um, that, that, that you give uh, will show some information where people can, can get more about that. Uh, if we've talked about Buddhism. Do people have to convert to Buddhism to, to uh, follow the path that you've taken in, in, in mm -hmm. dealing with anger? Not at all. Uh, Buddhism was described by John Tarrant Roshi uh, as the technology of happiness. And the end game of happiness of Buddhism is to be happy. And Christians want to be happy, and uh, atheists want to be happy, and Muslims want to be happy. And if you get rid of anger and you still believe in Jesus, uh, you're going to be a happier believer in Jesus. It's it's really that simple. Are you happier having uh, oh, resolved it, this 15, 16 years ago? I immeasurably. I, I mean, it's almost indescribable how much better my life is. Have your fellow attorneys noticed a difference? Are they scratching their heads? What happened to the old Len Chef? Well, uh, I, I haven't taken a survey on that. <laughs> but I'll tell you the difference is I settle matters now. You know, I used to call up the guy at the city that had cited my uh, client and say, what the hell do you think he's doing? You know, I mean, the statute doesn't say that. Let's get this uh, out of the way. And, of course, you know, the civil servant doesn't need my abuse. And uh, I build a brick wall to a settlement. And I might have to force it through at great expense and time. Now I say, you know, I, I'm not sure I understand what's going on. Can you help me understand? What do you want people to get out of this book? Uh, that they really don't want to be angry. I summarized the book in two sentences. Being angry is like hitting your hand with a hammer. 
if you quit, you'll feel better. <laughs> and there's an old Tibetan saying that being angry at someone is like picking up a red hot coal in your bare hand to throw at them. And so there's no, no advantage to anger. Uh, if you have a problem you want to solve, you act out of anger, you're not likely to solve it. Uh, this whole thing going on with the immigration bill are a lot of angry people being angry at other angry people and the real discussion that goes on uh, isn't happening. And so we're not likely to get anywhere except further alienate ourselves from the, quote, other side. We could do a show on that. Thank you very much yeah. for being with us. Uh, I think you've passed along some useful information. Certainly um, more can be found in the book, The Cow in the Parking Lot, available from Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, and other places where, where N books are Not quite sold. yet. <clears throat> By the time this airs, that way, hopefully ah, it will be. Okay. <clears throat> That's why we're, we, we tape a little in advance, but the idea is to, to get this when they come out again. It's okay. called The Cow in the Parking Lot. Yeah. Len, thank you very much. I enjoyed talking with you. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. That is our program for today. I'm Bob Lee. Have a safe week ahead. Remember, if you're in a motor vehicle, please buckle up for safety. And if you're going to change lanes or turn corners, please signal. And no texting while you're driving. And always be on the lookout for motorcycles and bicycles. We'll see you next week. And don't drive.